If the Jews had not been taken into exile, then they never would have been spread throughout what became the Roman Empire, which means Jewish synagogues would have never been spread throughout the Roman Empire. They would have been centralized in Jerusalem. Now get this, this gets really awesome. So after the exile, many of them return to Jerusalem, but many of them stay in dispersion. So what happens is the local Gentiles that were in those areas where the synagogues were hear of Yahweh, the Jewish God, and convert and say yes. And so they begin to study and learn and trust this God and not the pagan gods of whatever their lands were. Okay? So now you've got these Gentiles who fear the Lord who are now spread out all over the current civilization. Now this gets really cool. When Christianity began to spread, and you can see this in the book of Acts, and other historians will tell you this, the most receptive people in the entire world to the message of Christ was converted Gentiles who already feared Yahweh. Those were the first to receive it. How did they get there? They got there because of the Babylonian exile. If it wasn't for the exile, they wouldn't have even been there. In fact, (laughs) If they hadn't embraced Judaism, it is thought that Christianity could not have spread as it did throughout the world. It gets even crazier. Human sacrifice, the Colosseum, violence, public death, infanticide, slavery, were all things in the civilized ancient world that were looked at as normal, common, good. Civilization, mind you. All human societies were part of them. Because Babylon took the Jewish people into exile, and because the Greeks would then conquer the world, which made Greek the common language, it is the first form of globalization. Did you know that that is the first language that became sort of accepted because of how much territory they conquered? So you could write a book, and it would be understood by numerous different people groups for the first time in human history. I don't know, like the Bible? And then, it gets even cooler. But wait. (laughs) Then the Romans rose up. And they conquered everybody. Right? The Pax Romana. And they built roads to then connect all of the places that they conquered. So now, you have a language that is being spread, Greek, that is being universally understood by most of what is the known civilization at the time. You have these four powers that came in and exiled, captured, or brutalized God's people, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Greeks, and the Romans. And if all of those hadn't done what they did, Christianity never could have spread the way it did. So when God says to Habakkuk, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, but you will not understand. It is so much bigger than you. I am talking, this is centuries of time that is going to unfold to get it there. It's almost as if Jesus came into the story at the exact perfect time. The first time in history that because of the Roman Empire, there was actually peace in the land. The first time in history, there was a common language that could be understood and then disseminated. 